A mountain man is Michigan's man, but not in the Capital One Bowl. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you, breaking down a very anticipated game between 8-4 and four Michigan and 9-3 and three Florida, the fastest sellout in the 62 years that this game has been played. Of course, the Gators, led by the first-ever sophomore to win the Heisman Trophy in Tim Tebow, he's trying to finish his record-setting year with a New Year's Day victory after helping to bring the national title to Gainesville in his first season. As for Michigan coach Lloyd Carr, just trying to go out a winner in his last game, leading the Maze and Blue. 13 years at the helm, but retired right after losing to Ohio State for a fourth consecutive season. He gives way to former West Virginia coach Rich Rodriguez, but not until after he coaches on New Year's Day. 121-40 lifetime with five Big Ten titles and a national championship in 1997, but struggles down the home stretch of his career, including four consecutive bowl losses following those defeats to the Buckeyes, a team that Florida demolished last season in the national championship game. Much of it with speed, much of it with Urban Meyer's offense. One that behind Tim Tebow finished fourth this year in the nation in scoring more than 43 points a game and racking up 462 yards per game as well. And that spread option attack is what Michigan's defense will have to try and slow down, something the Wolverines' defense hasn't been good at and trying to do in recent years, including game one this season in the loss to FCS national champ Appalachian State. And, of course, that also means slowing down this man. Tim Tebow changed the record books numerous times this season, obviously capping it off with the Heisman Trophy. First quarterback to ever run and pass for more than 20 touchdowns in the same season. And I'm not sure there's a more important guy to his team. Nearly 72% of the total offense, gaining a school record 3,970 yards, most for his team by anyone in the SEC this season. So obviously a tough task to stop him and all-purpose everything Percy Harvin and the other Florida wideouts. But as bad as Michigan's defense looked to open the season and as bad as it has looked in recent bowl games, that doesn't mean this one will be bad come New Year's Day. The Wolverines certainly improved as the year wore on, allowing an average of just 17 points per game the last 10. But the pulse of Michigan stems from the offense. If U of M is going to win, it'll most likely have to outscore the Gators, and that falls on three men's shoulders. Last game for senior quarterback Chad Henney and senior tailback Mike Hart could be the last game for junior wideout Mario Manningham if he decides to leave early. All three hobbled this season by injuries at certain points, but all should be healthy for the bowl game. None had the season they were hoping for, but certainly are explosive, including Michigan's all-time leading rusher, in heart. Now, he did run in the games he was healthy for more than five yards a carry, but that could be tough against what was a rush defense that averaged giving up less than 100 yards a game this season. So that means it'll be up to Henny and Manningham to connect against the Florida suspect secondary, which was 86 this year in pass defense. It's a game the Gators are expected to win playing in Orlando, but they've never beaten the Wolverines. Only played once, but it was the last bowl win for Lloyd Carr in Michigan. 2003 season against Rex Grossman in the Outback Bowl. The two teams kick it off New Year's Day beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern. And for more, including info on who the experts pick, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horwitz. Enjoy what should be a fantastic bowl season, folks. Take care.